Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to draw this 3D modeling for the fan blade by using AutoCAD software. Okay, so now let's open the new file. Then now we are on the top view. Okay, by using the S spline command, we draw the fan blade shape like this. So I just click here. Okay, start from this point, then to this point. This point, this point, this point, and this point. Then press enter. Uh, we also can adjust this S line by click to this S line. Then we can adjust by clicking to this blue dot like this. Okay. All right. Okay. Then once again by using the S line command. I connect from this point to this point, then press enter. Then in, in order to join both of this S line, I use the join command, then select all of this object, then press enter. Okay. Okay, next we draw a circle. Okay, from this point. Okay, like this. Okay, then by using the move command. We adjust this circle position to ensure that these two points enclose on the circle in the circle. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Next, uh, we change to the right view. Okay. Okay. We change to the right view. Then by using the up command, press enter. Then click to this point. Second point, then third point, like this. Then you also can adjust the arc by clicking to this arc, then adjust like this. Okay. Okay. All right. Then uh, by using the offset command, okay, offset. Okay, press enter. We just put the random distance. Okay. okay, like this. Okay, then by using the line command, we connect from this point to this point, and also from this point to this point. Then press enter. Simply by using the, uh, sorry, by using the join command, press enter. We connect all of this line and up like this. Then press enter. So it can be the simple, uh, the single object. Okay. All right. So next we change to the SW isometric view. Okay. For this circle, we can isolate first. Select the circle, right click, then isolate. We we choose height. Okay. Then by using the stroke command, press enter. Select this object, press enter, then we exit downward like this. Okay. In order to make it default UCS coordinate, you can simply click to this icon. Okay. Alright. Then by using the stroke command, once again, we exit this part like this. Okay. Alright. Okay. So next, in order to make it clear, we can change from 2D wireframe view to shaded with edges. Okay. We also can off this grid. Okay. So by using the intersect command. Okay. Intersect. Okay. We click to this part and this part. Then press enter. Alright. So now we have the fan blade like this. Okay. Alright. So now let's right click, isolate and and object isolation in order to get back the circle. Then by using the move command, simply we select this object, press enter, then click to this point. Okay, then we just move to this center of this circle. Okay, that center. Okay, 
Alright, so next, uh, okay, let's go to right view. Let's see the position. We need to adjust a little bit the position of this object by using the 3D rotate. Okay, then click to this object for the center. Then specify base point. We choose this base point. Okay, I just adjust the position like this. Okay, alright. Then change back to SW isometric. Okay, so you can see, alright, the blade. Then by using the array command. Uh, sorry, firstly we need to change the UCS to the default position. X Y Z. Okay. Then by using the array command, we create the circular pattern like this. Okay. Polar. Then click to the center. Then you can see the blade. We put the number of item three. Okay. Then press enter. Alright. Okay. Then for the circle, okay, we need to change to 2 d wireframe so you can see that circle by using the extrude command. We just extrude this circle downward like this. Okay, then we also can adjust this cylinder upward a little bit like this. Okay, all right. Okay, you can see the the blade of the fan. Okay, next we also can make it complex by adding a circle from this center like this okay then by using the press pull command we just create a hole okay click to this region then we just create the hole like this okay okay downward a little bit all right then by using the fillet edge command okay click radius then i just put the random radius like that then click to this edge okay right so okay then press enter okay done with our 3d fan blade modeling by using autocad okay so thanks for watching our tutorial video keep following us for more updates and information thank you